John, how satisfying was it to have the game that you and the rest of the defensive line was able to have and, and really make some big plays uh, in the run game and, and get in the backfield? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was really sad. It was a big weight lifted off uh, my shoulders just to kind of get back in a groove, all four of us, whoever was on the field, uh, to us to kind of come together as a, as a unit more. Uh, you know, it, it definitely helped us uh, with our chemistry. Jay, go ahead. John, I know you uh, grew up a little bit in Boise. What did that win mean to you personally? <laughs> um, it, meant, it meant a lot. I, uh, my dad went to Boise State, and I lived in Boise for uh, six years, and we were, we were Boise State fans. and. I have a lot of family lives in Boise, and they're pretty much all there. And half of them were wearing BYU hats and Boise State shirts, so uh, it, it meant the whole world. Uh, especially uh, coming out with the win and just the kind of game it was. It was that was yeah, that's one of my favorite games ever, personally. Kevin, go ahead. Um, three weeks into Kalani calling the defense and kind of taking control there, um, do you guys feel more settled and comfortable with, with him now just after after kind of a whirlwind change there? And what do you think the biggest difference that you've noticed is um, in the last three weeks? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I've always had faith in our coaching, and sometimes we, you guys, we uh, as a team we get in a slump. And uh, after a couple weeks, uh, we kind of all came together as a defense and – I feel like we played one of our better games this week, and it uh, it it reminded uh, me and some other players that you know the players are on the field, and you know we're the ones making the plays. And uh, I know people want to point fingers at coaching, but at the end of the day, we're on the field, and we need to take more ownership of that. Sean, go ahead. Yeah, John, you're you're one of those guys who um, hasn't been like injured, injured per se, but you've had a lot of sort of colleagues and teammates that have been. Um, and I know just after ten straight weeks of football, everybody's probably banged up, um, even maybe wherever you're at. How badly does this team need a bye week right now? Uh, I'd say it came at the right time. Um, it's good to kind of uh, relax a little bit and. Uh, Mentally know that you don't have to, you know, work on Saturday this week, and uh, I feel like it came at a at a good time, and uh, I think we needed it. And I'm hurting a little bit; uh, everyone's hurting, so this is this is a good time to have it. Any other questions for John before we wrap up? Awesome. Thanks so much, John. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. You have one more question if you're good. Yeah, it's fine. I'm. Not okay, hurry. perfect. We'll take one last question from Jerry. John, I just wanted to ask, I know this is a time of year when you have the bye week where guys start considering, hey, what's what's my future like? you got a lot of guys that might choose to, to leave for one reason or another. What are those conversations like as, as you know, you kind of get toward the end of the season and, and have a chance to look around at the boys you, you've worked so hard with and not, know, you know, maybe this is the end, the last time you get to play with those guys? Um, <laughs> To be honest, I haven't really thought about that, but it brings up the point that you know, we only have two more games guaranteed uh, with uh, with these guys that we spend so much time with, and uh, I don't know. I it's just uh, it makes me it makes me cherish these last two games and uh, this bowl game we're gonna get into, and just uh, the time that we have left. And uh, yeah, I mean, I. You know, you don't really have time to stop and think about it. But some guys, I mean, some guys have started conversations about if they're staying or not. And uh, obviously, you want everybody to stay, but it's their own personal decision. So.